Today we're going to process this mountain lion that I harvested a couple days ago, 105 pound tom. This is a hind quarter. We can get it ready so that we can eat it. What are you doing there? We're removing silver skin. Like we do with any, just like processing a deer. This meat's really, um, really light colored. Wouldn't even know it's a cat. Wouldn't know it if you tasted it either. Our breakfast we had the other day with back straps was very good. Kind of reminds you of pork. Light meat. Not gamey at all. No, pretty succulent to the taste. Does it have any odd smell to it? Gamey smell at all? None at all. None at all. That's good. None at all. This is Paul's favorite job. Processing his kills. He loves it. Yeah. Yeah. A knife sharp. I like to get this sinew off. This doesn't taste good. Off on any, any of the game we harvest. Nope. We are going to leave a little bit of fat on here, though. Feel the table. Yes, we'll leave some fat on because the fat is good for us. He's not throwing that on the floor. He's putting it in the garbage. You ready to get that big hunk off yet? Yep. Let's see it. Ready. Don't be anal. We'll have to try out a few different techniques on how to cook this. We chicken fried, like chicken fried steak for breakfast the other morning. We'll have to figure out something else for this. Nice meat. As you can see, we didn't waste a lot. Maybe a little back through here, but gotta do what you gotta do. Unfortunately, this hungry dog right here, Remy, she can't have any. Of course she can. Neither can he, nor he. They could eat it cooked, but not raw. They'll get parasites. So no bone chewing for them. Looks like it's going to be quite the feast. One hind quarter done. One left. Sheets outdoors. Feel the table. Okay. This other hind quarter deboned. And I get to do the assistant work. We're going to vacuum pack it so we don't have to eat it all within a few days. We can't eat this much meat anyway that quick. It's only the two of us. Never know. I'm gonna do little. Let me put this over there. I'm gonna do little. How much should I put in? Like both of these? Just put in these. I don't know. You get out more than one pack. Whatever you want to waste for bags. Yes. Or you got for bags. Dandy dandy food saver. Works great for everything.
you've done this with deer, with elk, with chicken, antelope, and hog. Wait, we haven't done hog. Because you guys do that before you come home. We do same method. Though. Same method. Voila, this is what we have. Mountain lion. Put it in the freezer, marked. So when we invite our guests over for mystery meat potluck, <laughs> you never know what they're gonna get. <laughs> That's the fun of it. Yep, here we go, more steaks. Pretty good at that. What waste of meat? <laughs> yeah. uh, wasting. You're not wasting. I'm trying to be. This is as much as you can. Are you gonna put that whole thing in this bag? No, no. Put it right there. Put it right. This muscle off. Yeah. Guess over. This will be enough in the bag. All right. I don't see what that little uh -huh. arm roast here that I gave you earlier. You must have done something with it because it's gone. What? Yep. Maybe I, oh actually I'd probably put it in the straps. Got another big chunk over there. Yeah, pull that guy out of there. Put him over here. What the, what the? Mm. Operator error. Sealed up. A little bit here. Probably about 10 mm. pounds. What are we going to do with the front quarters? Have we decided yet? No, I might give them to a good friend. <laughs> okay, I just took this down to the scale, and there's 12 pounds of processed mountain lion. Mm, it's not processed. Sorry. It's all natural. My kind of processing. His Field the table. Field the table. Pure meat. Pure meat. 12 pounds on two hind quarters. It's going to be taste delicious. Yeah. Let me know when you all want to come for dinner. <laughs>